All right, this is part five in the uh, construction of my track vehicle, and this is the seat construction. Um, this one won't be quite as entertaining as the other ones, but uh, this is part of the process and was one of the next things that I, that I did. I used a high-density foam. It's, it's, it's a little bit harder than normal, normal foam. It's supposed to be four seats like this. And I got the basic shape that I wanted. I measured the uh, the back of the track vehicle. I wanted to be able to carry two people, so I made the seat a lot longer than than maybe you'd normally have it. I used a contact cement to attach the foam to the bottom board and to itself, and that way it keeps the the foam from moving around when you. Uh, put the fabric on. Now if I really wanted to get fancy with this I could have uh, sewed the fabric into different pieces and, and got the, the shape a little bit better but I decided to just stretch the vinyl over this form so it, it does flatten it out a little bit but it was easier than me trying to sew a seat cover for it. I didn't think it was that important, but uh, anyway, once I get everything glued together, uh, it's time to stretch the fabric on. Okay, I got the last little bit glued on, and here's the the final shape that I'm going with. Okay, I bought this vinyl, especially for motorcycle seats and it's supposed to be able to withstand the sun and the wear and tear of, of sitting on it. Um, and then also I'm using a heat gun and this helps to loosen it up as you stretch it, um, especially to get the forms around where I have the different levels. So I start in the middle here and I'm just using an uh, electric stapler. And pull it tight and then I'm just going to work my way around. I started at the highest point uh, of the foam so I stretched that part first and then the idea is to come down this lower part, heat it up, and then try to pull it, and this is a time-consuming process, pull it, heat it, stretch it, and then slowly work my way to the front. Of course I've cut this video down a lot, it took a lot longer to do, but uh, try not to bore you too much. Because the front part is so small, it did get sort of squished down a lot more, so I didn't really get that, that shape that I wanted for the front as much, but uh, it turned out pretty good. I think it's going to work. I'm going to end up uh, hinging it in the back and then putting another board underneath it to make it level and then have a way to, uh, to hook it in. But it fits nice and it looks pretty good, I think. So that's how we got the seat ready for this. Okay, stay tuned for next week, part six, as we continue to build the, my tracked vehicle. Thanks for watching.